Hi guys, welcome to another episode of uh, Inside Oizong. Uh, we had really a great time shooting the first episode with one of our teammates, uh, Kinjal, uh, and we got to know how she's doing uh, in this current scenario. Uh, we all are affected uh, by the current pandemic here, and things have changed as it was a couple of years ago. We all are now working from home, so it's so much fun and so much. Uh, it's so nice to understand how people are coping up with this, how they are. Uh, adapting to this new normal. Uh, so to continue the same thing, uh, today uh, I have another guest on on Inside Oizong. So uh, please welcome uh, Bhumik. Uh, hi Bhumik. Hi Aran. Thanks for having me. Uh, great. Uh, Bhumik. Uh, so Bhumik is a, a project manager here uh, in Oizong. So. Uh, sorry, I'm again going on ranting about what my teammates do. So I'll leave it to Bumik. So Bumik, quickly please introduce yourself. What do you do at Oizom and uh, uh, help uh, our viewers know about you? Yeah, hi everyone. So I'm Bumik. I work as a project manager at Oizom Instruments. So I joined around four years ago and I started off as an R&D engineer. I used to research on sensors, electronic components, uh, do some PCP designing, uh, also code on uh, on side of it. Then about uh, assembly, I used to install the devices, so all those technical parts I used to take care of. But uh, since we started to scale up, uh, then I moved to project management, uh, more on the technical side. So yeah, I'm currently handling all the global projects mostly and some of uh, India as well. Yeah. Wow, that, that's kind of a great journey, I guess, for, for so many years to be part of, uh, of the startup. Um, so, uh, guys, Bumik had has been really uh, helping me when I uh, got on board uh, at Oizong. Uh, so we were working together, and he helped me out with understanding the device and the hardware. He has a great knowledge of it because he was right from the start. He's he's uh, he's been there uh, with Oizong. So, uh, Bumik, before we get on to the uh, the things about work, uh, you just uh, recently recovered from the COVID, right? So, tell us something yeah. about that experience. How how tough it was for you? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, it, it was quite challenging actually because I first thought as an extrovert, uh, 14 days is nothing. I can stay for months inside my house and not uh, come in contact with people. But this was a difficult time because uh, due to first of all the social media, everything was so negative. So I put off yeah. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, every social media on site. I just read okay. books, uh, played some musical instruments as it's a uh, part of my hobby. So mm -hmm. yeah, I stick to reading, uh, not consume too much information, just keep me to my myself and uh, read about uh, general affairs, the current affairs, but not anything related to COVID because I don't mm -hmm. uh, want that negative energy to flow inside me because I already tested positive. Yeah. 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 But now you're all fit and fine, right? Yeah, I'm fit and fine. I started exercising as well. Actually, after like five yeah. days, I started working out, so I was feeling quite better. Okay. SpO2 okay. went from 94 to 99 within like three, four days. But yeah, okay. those first three days were quite, uh, quite challenging. Yeah. The fever yeah, did not reduce. Think. The symptoms did not yeah. reduce. But yeah. uh, as fast as it took uh, uh, over my body, I uh, immediately got into isolation. So okay. none, none of my parents have been affected. That's really a great of you, you know, you took care of that. So uh, we'll be coming back to your fitness uh, as you mentioned about it. But before that, I wanted to know like, uh, how, how is this lockdown treating you uh, from the prior one? What's, what's the difference that you see from last year and this year? Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, being an introvert, it didn't uh, really affect me. But yeah, okay. since 365 days passed, I realized that no, even I need to socialize with people. <laughs> so that that that's one thing I missed uh, meeting people, uh, going out with friends, uh, even uh, even to go on a bike ride. I uh, ride the mm. motorcycle often, so even that uh, I missed a lot. Okay, so if you have to have to list just one thing that you miss the most, what what would it be? One thing going out on dates probably. <laughs> okay. So, uh, th is this a hint to our viewers that, okay, this guy is still yeah, single? There's no hint. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> great. Okay. That's great. That's good to know that you're, you're back on, on the, all these witty comments of yours. Uh, you are, you're really good at this. So, uh, now, now let, let me just ask you about, uh, your experience, uh, uh, in Oizom, how, how has it been? Uh, what are the things that you have learned? As you said, it's quite a journey from being in the R and D from to become 
being a project manager for the global projects. So how would you, you know, uh, help us know more about what you're doing at Ozone? Yeah, so as I said, I, I joined as, I did my electronics and communication engineering. Uh, okay. So as soon as I completed my graduation, I joined this company and we were around eight or nine people at first. Okay. So now we are around more than 20 people. Yeah. So being in the core team, uh, it really helped because even college is something that doesn't uh, teach you practicality. After mm -hmm. joining OISM, I learned more about the uh, PCBs and hardware and electronics, how it's done in real life than I learned mm -hmm. in college for four years. So mm -hmm. that's a great uh, knowledge gain for all mm -hmm. over these years working for OISM mm -hmm. because you get to know each and every uh, value which the component takes place and mm -hmm. comes as a final product. So that's a good learning for me. And, and your experience with global uh, projects, um, how do you think it's different from India? And uh, another question linked to this is, what about the problem of air quality that we all are facing? What do you have uh, any insights on that? Yeah, so globally the customers, I would say uh, they are quite proactive than Indian customers because mm -hmm. uh, and they also have a vast knowledge on engineering skills. So basic uh, the necessities they take care of so you don't have to instruct okay. uh, you don't have to instruct them all the time that uh, mm -hmm. you know this is the particular thing you need to take care of you just told tell them once and they'll uh, do that efficiently and yeah they, mm -hmm. they are quite accurate and proactive and efficient in their work so that's one part uh, which i'm helpful i'm grateful for actually that uh, mm -hmm. they take care of all the instruments really well yeah and you have learned uh, that skill and imbibed or uh, here also right yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Bhumik, uh, in, in addition to this, uh, like you see the whole problem of uh, air quality, right? Which is why where we are around and uh, you know how India has uh, more than six cities uh, in the world, which is more highly polluted. So what have been your observations onto this? Uh, you know, we have been doing some projects where we found uh, the PM levels quite low when it comes to Germany or international. Whereas in India, even indoors, we have quite a high level of uh, PM uh, for the concentration. So what do you think how what we do and are we doing, are we in the right way, uh, right approach and how Izom is contributing to this? Yes, surely. So first of all, India has a major problem of air pollution, uh, mm -hmm. mainly PM levels. Uh, mm -hmm. And the people, the government, the agencies aren't aware of the data. So what through Ozone we do is uh, ta target the exact parameters yeah. which are required to measure first. Because mm -hmm. be without measurements, without the proper data, you don't know how to yeah. mitigate it. So that yeah. problem we are solving through Ozone. Uh, yeah. We measure particulate matter, gases, SOX, NOX, uh, O3. So all these parameters yeah. combine and uh, together make an AQI, which is the air quality index. So if you mm -hmm. compare the air quality index of India to a global, it's a vast difference between those two uh, values. Mm -hmm. So for example, mm -hmm. I will give you that in France and in Eng England, we have uh, deployed many devices and there mm -hmm. the PM 2.5, PM 10 level is in single digit. That's like eight or nine. Wow. But in wow. India, it's 199. So it's wow. tremendous difference between those two uh, yeah. so we really need to the indian government the indian agencies really need to first mm. measure it properly and mm. then find ways to mitigate all these pollution mm. factors such as uh, farm burning uh, the construction sites needs to yeah. be monitored so all these little aspects if we try and control i'm, I'm sure mm. that we will reduce this pollution levels yeah, I, I think you aptly put it very nicely. I mean, it's. It, I think it. It needs a very consolidated effort from all of us, and it's. It, it's. It just can't be like one or two. It has to be from all, from all sectors, from all areas. So I think it's very nicely put, and uh, I don't think sitting here, I know that okay, there is a benchmark that we have to achieve someday from the European standards, maybe. So that's pretty kind of you to you know share all these uh, uh, valuable insights into this. So okay, coming back to something uh, personal, uh, enough of for talking about uh, what we do. So you mentioned about your uh, hobbies, that is uh, fitness as well as music. Tell tell us uh, something uh, about it. I know we all know like you know you are kind of a fitness freak. We have seen you growing uh, over the last two years. You have built your body and all. So tell us something. What drives you? You know every day. You know going to the gym or. Uh, how is it? I mean, just uh, just share your uh, views on that. Yeah, uh, people see gym and exercising as a like a sport, 
uh, and it is a sport but you have to be really disciplined you see on social media people are flaunting their bodies but <laughs> it's not about just the image it's the discipline the hard work yes. every single day every one or two hours you have to put in your work plus it's the yeah. nutrition so it's it's like uh, giving you a dopamine shot which you can't acquire from social media the, the, okay. yeah so yeah fitness has been a part of me i also play uh, many sports such as football i used to play mm-hmm. volleyball in school as well then mm-hmm. uh, uh, i play musical instruments as well i took mm-hmm. uh, formal training for tabla uh, piano mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. guitar as well so okay. that's a kind of hobby it's basically quite therapeutic uh more than a ho- hobby it heals you from your all the burdens your long day yeah wow okay that's that's great to know so uh women who are watching this uh, uh this interview you know you have got all the information about bumik so uh you you know what to do next so i think great bumik uh, this was really great talking about you your work it's kind of, there's a lot of things that i learned how you have progressed through uh, these years so before we conclude this uh, interview i mean i wanted to ask one thing which i'm going to ask to all of our team members so uh, who is that one person at oizon that you know you connect to the most who's your favorite person i would say at any level like you you love to spend time or to talk anything so who's your uh, favorite person okay it has to be only one person it's uh, sohil patel the cto yeah, of oizon it has to be only one okay yes okay. <laughs> because uh, when i joined uh, i will be very honest with you, with you. I, i had yeah. no clue about uh, what's going on in the electronics industry so he was the one who mm-hmm. had a lot of confidence me in me uh, he trained me uh, and all i am uh, today on the technical part that's because of sohil because all those four years of engineering uh, i just mm-hmm. passed through the exams but he gave me a reality, reality check that okay this is what happens yeah. in the real world and how you need to yeah. take care of all these instruments so okay. sohil uh, is that one person that's great i mean i i'll have to ask him what comes as his answer so till then uh, thank you so much bhumik for your time it was really fun speaking to you and to know about your hobbies music and the the work that you have been doing you know so keep doing that you are doing great uh, Thanks, so sir. thank you bhumik uh, yeah bye bye so Guys uh, this was Bhumik from uh, Oizom uh, this was another episode of Inside Oizom I uh, hope you like these uh, episodes and uh, please like and subscribe uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel we'll be out with more number of episodes in the coming days thank you so much stay safe stay happy